Okay, hello everyone. This is a little bit of a different video for me today. Um, I've done a few videos in the past of other operating systems. Uh, Red Core, I did a series on that. Of course, those videos are no longer available because somebody hacked my Google account and I ended up losing everything, but that's beside the point. This is and I'm not sure how to pronounce this Nutix N-U-T-Y-X it's a system a Linux system that was built from Linux from scratch and I've always been really interested in this system mainly because it's built with Linux from scratch but I've always been a little bit of afraid you know to try and install it why? because it's built from Linux from scratch <laughs> but I'm gonna be honest I am completely blown away with this system you know we hear a lot of <clears throat> distros that they say they use the KISS principle K-I-S-S -S, keep it simple stupid I'm gonna tell you from what little I have used this system so far this is the KISS principle personified. It is so simple. The, uh, the installation is so simple. It's quick and fast and installing packages is quick and fast and simple. Whoever is behind this distribution, man this distribution needs needs more uh, publicity because he has done an amazing job. Now I'm going to show you real quick. Here's the menu. Now everything in this menu I've added. Compton and Leafpad I added. Firefox I added. Uh, I guess you could say during the installation of the system. I'm going to show you real quick in just a moment their website and show you uh, real quick how I mean they just spell everything out for you. It's so simple to install this system. Uh, I looked for GUVC view. Now they do have some binary packages that you can install. And Cheese was in there and I, I've tried using Cheese but it has some extra parts on the window so I'm not recording my ugly mug today. Uh, PAVU control I've added. Did that during the installation. Simple screen. They have simple screen recorder. VLC media player. Uh, the only thing here in system tools that I added was the LX terminal. Now as you can see this is the LXDE uh, desktop environment. However, the LX terminal isn't included in the installation. I had to add it after the fact. And on most distributions, if you wanted to add the LX terminal, that's what you would add. Like in Devlin or Debian based distros, you'd sudo apt install LX terminal. Well, in Nutix, and I hope I'm saying that right. It's LXDE terminal. So it has a few little peculiarities, nothing that's hard to overcome whatsoever. I also added the FL Cards packet, uh, Package Manager. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. We're going to install a package with it. Basically, what it is, it's a very simple GUI front end for their uh, package manager and it works great it's just so simple I mean I, I can't say enough about this system I'm I'm just blown away with it um, nothing else in there that I added and preferences what you see there is what comes on the system so let's look real quick let's see what do, what can I install um, first let's do a terminal installation of a package and I'm pretty sure 
that this is in the repositories so <clears throat> they use cards that's their package manager so let's do sudo cards install screen fetch okay and there it is and let's run a screen fetch now remember I'm doing uh, I'm recording a video right now so it's probably gonna be a little bit high but we'll see what it gives us okay the o OS is the unknown rolling hoofan okay kernel is 414 um, showing I'm using 509 megabytes of RAM right now so that's not bad at all um, you see my I'm using my Mio Linux Arc dark window theme and by the way the Arc theme and papyrus icons and the Arc icons are in the repository so that's how you would install something uh, through the terminal by using cards and you can also uh, let's see what all the options are if you didn't see what I did I did cards H for help and here are all the uh, commands to use with cards alright now let's look at the GUI front end for cards Alright, here we are. Now, let me open this up. I made it a little smaller earlier. Um, let's see, I don't, I like using Audacious. I believe Audacious, there it is. So let's install Audacious and the plugins. Hit apply. And you see the job is finished. It's installed now. Okay. Now before I click on the menu, I do want to point something out. I don't know if it'll do it this time, but sometimes after installing something, the menu may not be exactly right, but it's always fixed after uh, logging out and logging back in. Okay, it didn't do it that time. There have been a couple of times when I installed something where the entire menu didn't show but it would have the arrows where you could go up to the arrow and then you could scroll through the entire menu but this time it did work and there's my beloved audacious wish I had some mp3s right now to play on it but you see how I mean this system it just flies and it's so easy from the installation to adding uh, the binary packages and when you go to their website it's like I was saying earlier it it gives you step by step all I do I followed their installation instructions and I mean it worked absolutely fantastic they also have instructions for uh, uh, like if you wanted to build packages from source step by step this is a great distribution not only is it is it great just to use it but the people behind it have made it so easy for users to be able to do things now here's the typical installation on a single partition and I do want to point that out uh, Nutix does not use a home partition if you want to add an, a home partition they don't do that they put everything on a single partition but you just go through here it shows you how to do the installation uh, I didn't even have to mess with any of this stuff right here I just put it on the partition I wanted to put it on now I do want to say one thing and it could be a problem that I did during installation 
it did take over my grub so I'm gonna have to fix that but I just I can't say enough good things about this you know I've I'm a big huge fan of void Linux but <clears throat> if things continue with this the way they've started out this may very well supplant my love of void Linux um, you go in here I mean it, it just has so much information to help you to help you be successful and like I said it's so simple now the installation if you're used to using the Ubuntu installer or something uh, you know some of the easy to use and because this is a text installer but it's very quick it's very easy to use and very simple so I just want to say thank you um, I wish I knew the guy who was behind this I do have a inkling of who it's I believe his name on the forum is Ferry now I don't know for sure if this is the guy that's behind it but I I do have a sneaking suspicion that this man right here is the person that's behind the distribution so I just want to say thank you you have done an amazing job and if you're interested in this system by all means try it out oh one other thing before I uh, you see here I'm on my wireless network just a snap I mean everything is so simple to set up so that's about it I don't have much else to say it's a great system and I would I'd encourage anyone try it out I think you'll really like it this is a I chose it comes in a rolling and a fixed release I chose the rolling release now I do have to I'm gonna have to get familiar with updating the system and things like that but I'm looking forward to that so that's all we have today thanks for watching and try new ticks you'll like it thanks